In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic section to a blog post template in DiviTeam. I walk you through the entire process of adding dynamic content by using the free version of Advanced Custom Fields plugin. There are good reasons you may consider to use dynamic content, such as personalization, improves user experience and it has low maintenance. Within the WordPress dashboard, I have already created a blog post with the category assigned. Categories are a great way to group related posts together. It's a helpful way to group blog post content. My categories are web developer, designer and marketer. I've made this content by using the default WordPress editor. I'm not going over in much detail about how to assign categories to a post. I have a thorough previous tutorial about categories, so if you're not comfortable enough, make sure you watch my previous tutorial. Anyways, I will leave the link in the comments box so that you can easily find it. Now, what I want to do is to create the advanced custom fields for the marketing category. I navigate over with the plugins and then I do a quick search for advanced custom fields. Then install and activate to start immediately using it. I'm now in the SICF dashboard. I click on the head new. Now I must give it a name. Uh, I call it jobs. Next I click on the head field button to start. For my first label, I go job title as a checkbox button. So with the checkbox button field, it creates a list of selectable inputs. And the choices are web developer, designer and, mar and marketeer. One key important step is to set up the location though. So, in the location rules, I create my set of rules to determine which screens will use these fields. In the first drop-down menu, you must decide whether your custom location rules, whether in post, pages, users or, or form groups. Now I'm closing this field. And then I add a new one by click on the head field to your right. The second one, my label is location, my field type is text, and the field is text. For the instructions, I enter the job location here. Scroll down, scroll down and find out the character limits. I enter 20. The rest remains as they are. The last one is uh, experience. This time I go with the number field type and not required. In the append, I go with years. I'm closing the field and then I update it. Let's preview how it looks like. So opening my posts. There you have it. My ACF fields are now displayed on my WordPress dashboard. Now I create the content. So my category is web developer. So I disable the designer. I'm going to import a DV pre-made layout for my post content. Yet, there is an important uh, point to look into. So, in the DV page settings, you have the page layout with the right sidebar, left, left sidebar. I want no sidebar. And now, to the left, I'm gonna choose and fill in the ACA fields. So, this is web developer. Location is Paris, experience five years, and then update. 
For starters, DV is a multi-purpose theme which makes it flexible enough for almost any kind of WordPress website. So now I use the DV Builder. I'm going to import a pre-made layout for my post content. Edit with DV Builder. I click now on click, choose a pre-made layout. And here I type in digital marketing. I go with the layout, click on use this layout. And DV is importing it into my WordPress. And then I save it. And let's take a quick look. All right. It's looking great. What I'm going to do now is to modify my blog post. I just want to pull in the three ACF fields to my existing layout. So, so I have a new section, a regular one, and then I close it because I want to edit my new section. So in the background set settings, I go for a light background color. So I go with a light gray. All right. And now I had my row, three columns. I forgot to add some padding, so I come back to the, my section settings, advanced tab, and then design spacing. I select this chain, the chain to apply the two values at once. I go with 7 B H V W. Uh, maybe yes 12 is fine for me and then I close it and here I had a toggle module there it is so now I will bring up my ACF fields so in my toggle title I delete the default title and then I select this little icon, which is the dynamic icon option. And I, I want the post title. And there you have it, my title. Now let's go to stylize. So the text, the title text is black one, it's H3. The font, I go with Oswald, font is Oswald, and the font weight is semi-bold. The text size, I go with 1.5, and the line height to 1.7 all right my icon color i go with black one insert some colors so in the background i want to add a gradient so i click on this little let's make some room here and now i want a light color I adjust my settings and for my second color I want a transparent so I disable the option I want a radio my position is bottom right and in order to be displayed on the front end you need to start to input here the start position and hand position i want 30 percent 
and 30%. All right, great. Now I duplicate this module and then I drag it up here or my second and then I click on the gear icon I delete here and I go with dynamic content and this time I'm gonna bring in the location here I and before I put where it is located give it a space after and then save your changes and here in the background I change here my colors so I select this first one and then I go with this this light yellow color and save it and then I duplicate once more and drag it to my third column and click on the gear icon delete go to add dynamic and this time go with experience experience give it a space with your spacebar I insert a smile column and then save my changes and in the background I oh I change my color so gradient select color and then change my color to this green with some transparency save the changes there it is my three ACF fields are are pulled in from the WordPress well let's now take a look at my web developer post so I go to my WordPress dashboard posts web developer and view there it is my section built with ACF fields and the DV builder so now I want to come back to my posts web developer but this time I'm going to add it with DV an important step now is to save into your library so that you can use this dynamic section to other posts you might have so click on this little purple icon at the bottom of your page here to save to your library I call it jobs info and save to your library save the changes the final result will be to apply this dynamic section into a new post right that's exactly what I'm gonna do so I leave the DV Builder I create a new post I call it dynamic section I adjust here the DV page settings no sidebar and then I use the DV Builder inside the DV Builder I import a new pre-made layout it could be digital I go with this one use this layout wait a few moments let's take a look all right I 
I publish. And now I click here on load from library. And there it is, my jobs info. And there it is. Click save. Voila, it has been applied to my new post. So, this is my original post created with ACF custom fields. And my second was dynamic section. And there it is. Now you know the steps to create small piece of dynamic content within the DV Team Builder. I hope you make use of this approach for your best scenarios according to your website business type. If you got value from this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a like down below. So have a great day wherever you are. I see you in my next video. My name is Natalie. Bye.